Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got something I'm pretty excited about today. This is the first time I have ever hired any work to be done in my fields. And it's because I don't have one of these here fancy machines. Having some issues with uh, grass and weeds as you see. Looks like fun. Actually you don't see the weeds over here because he's knocked them all down. Um, so what this is, is a lightning zapper. Um, the reason I'm so far away is because that thing's running somewhere around 25,000 volts of energy through it. A uh, big generator and transformers on it and the bar. You guys can hear that zapping sound. That's him zapping stuff. What a machine. there to be the ground. I'm not going to bug him in for a good time. Keep that up, buddy. So I was out pulling today, and he's out here killing weeds for me. I should be appreciated. Quite a machine. Quite a machine. I, uh, I am impressed. Now, I had no idea that these things were even things. Had no idea. So yeah, look at that. Look at this transformer. It's like a frickin' jumper station on wheels, man. Really. I understand why I'm so far away from it. However, there he goes. I uh, I couldn't be happier with this. Um, so even if it gains me only a bushel per acre, it pays for itself. Just one bushel pays for this guy to come and do this. Um, and then on top of that, I'm not adding to my seed bank, you know. Um, the grass is one thing uh, it's not going to kill all the grass that's um, just how they work but you don't see any weeds standing up I mean button weed it's just knocking them down they're gone I think Russ I think you might be proud of me man picking on me for I was out pulling weeds he said that's what they make herbicide for or, uh, roundup there's this thing called roundup burn down <laughs> And there was a few times where I'm going, yeah, <laughs> round up and burn down sounds sounds like a great idea. Uh, but I had no idea about that thing. So, uh, yeah, here I am, like I said, uh, on top of whatever I can gain out of it this year. Um, not taking moisture and everything. Uh, and I got a couple of fields that are really bad with button weeds. And this is just, it's knocking them down. They're dead. They're not, they're, they're no longer existent in the field immediate um, so uh, like I said um, I'm not adding to my seed bank um, which adding to your seed bank does not add money in the bank because the more your seed bank goes up the less the money in the bank goes up more weeds less yield less return obviously so um, I will be buying one of these things next year it's already a thing that's happening so uh, looks like he stopped up here I'm gonna go up here and talk to him for a minute and see if I can get a video of this thing up close well, this thing is uh, impressive like very impressive see these cables them are important in case you get a volt shot Else. All right, guys. So here we are. Look at this. There's the machine still running. So that tells you how long it's been. I mean, 20 minutes, maybe. Look at these ragweeds. 
Look at how the stem. Um, he said the button weeds takes a little bit longer for them to get it, but as you can tell, they're they're keeling over. He said, "Don't you worry about it. They're gonna die." Look at it. They don't like uh, twenty thousand volts, I guess. So yeah, this thing is very neat. He left it running down here. He had to go take the drive quick to personal reasons, but anyway. Thing is something else. You guys have seen it. Three booms on it, they're all hydraulic. They move in and out, up and down, separately, everything. All custom built. Big Caterpillar engine. John Deere cab. Not sure what else, but. Danger, high voltage, keep away. I know I won't be out in the field when this thing's running, I'll tell you that much. And I asked him how many amps, but I'm pretty sure that it said 200 to 480 amps on the side of it. Uh, which, you know, to put that in perspective, the, the town that I live in only runs 100 amps. You know, 100 amps at 240 could in a cardiac arrest. So imagine what 480 at 20,000 amps volts could do. So power a whole town with that thing. It, it just, it's amazing. Something else. But, um, I'll try to get a little bit of more footage. So I talked a little bit about me buying one of these. Um, it's not going to be like this. Uh, the one that I'm looking at is actually a pull-behind uh, type that's going to mount to the back of my tractor. Um, a little bit smaller than that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for the 40-foot booms. And, um, yeah, pull behind, he said 150 horsepower tractor runs it very comfortably. Uh, he said 120 horsepower tractor will run it, but it's working it. Um, so basically throw the 7060 on it with the big block. Um, but I'm driving down here. I want to show you these. These were the weeds that I was working on. Pull them out so you can see I got, I got a lot of them. They were like this down through here. Uh, but I'm going to show you these now and then we're going to come and take a look at what they look like when he gets done later today. I can't wait. I'm so excited to see these things dead. You guys have no idea. I mean, just being organic for the past six years, working my ass off out here pulling these weeds and half the time it feels like I'm just a futile effort, a waste of frickin' effort because I can't ever seem to keep up no matter how hard I work at it. They kill myself out here and I can't keep up. And uh, the money that I'm paying this guy is some of the best money I've spent on the farm. <laughs> Honestly, I just, I'm not mad at all. I mean, there's soybeans in there. And uh, to kill them weeds, I couldn't be more excited. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back, show you what this looks like when he gets done. So this field here is one I showed you guys, I said it was probably about my worst one. It's going to be huge in this one, I mean look at these, look at how many button weeds are out here. Um, the damn grass I got. have never been too successful with keeping grass out. Um, actually a little bit better this year with new cultivator and a couple things need to be adjusted for my first pass. Like I said, live and learn. I think I'll be able to get it better next time. Uh, however, just want to take a gander down here into these soybeans. There's some beans in there now. Well, a couple of pods with only two in them, but the majority of them have three, so. I actually only see those two pods that have two. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there. That kind of gives you a good idea. 
they're coming along. They are setting in there. Probably won't be able to do this one handed. No. Hold on. There they are. August 5th. So. Overall, I'm happy. Um, the camera, you know, it kind of makes it seem really, really bad with the grass. But as you walk, as you see, it's kind of, it's not... It's not as overtaking as it looks, kind of when you're looking down the rows. When you get to walking, it's it definitely looks a lot better. So, like I said, I couldn't be more excited about this thing. Zap them up, zap them up. One last thing I'd like to show you guys is underneath the canopy. As you can see, they have made a canopy. So that's under the canopy. Um, Anything that is growing under here is going to be stunted enough to the point that it shouldn't go to seed and I'll be able to get that tilled up and killed before, uh, um, yeah, before it goes to seed. You got, you guys understand what I'm getting at. But everything has canopied. It was actually two, two and a half weeks now that it has been canopied, so... how far into the field I got with weeding just pulling river weeds which isn't very far but I got all the way down and a big patch out there taken care of and then I heard about this guy and I quit pulling weeds so I'm gonna bring it back down over into the other field that he got out of and uh, show you what those look like it's been maybe two hours since he's been over it all right so here we are back at that patch that we were looking at just uh, for me a couple hours ago for you a couple of minutes ago and that's something you can see that the grass is kind of keeling um, it does not kill the grass completely but what it does do is knocks it down and he said a lot of them will fall underneath the canopy and I was reading online um, that any of these that have gone to seed that have got shocked, those seeds now, it has killed the germ. Um, <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, I feel like a huge weight was lifted off of my shoulders finding this thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope I showed you guys something new. I know some of you have probably seen them. These things have actually been around since the uh, late 70s, but didn't really gain much popularity because of kind of how dangerous they are. Some people, well, but anyway, another thing they took a 150 horsepower better tractor. You know, not everybody had that big of a machine back in the 70s, you know. 
people were kind of just upgrading to that stuff at that point. So, but anyway, them, them weeds are dead. They gone. No more ragweeds. Like I said, huge weight lifted off my shoulders, and um, this is where I'll probably end this one. I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps with the views and getting the videos out there. And uh, I hope to catch you on the next one.